So hi, what's up? It's your boy Sports Wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're going to be doing Merida vs. Bertini ATP Cup Group Stage. So let's just jump right into it. My prediction Merida So yeah, my prediction, my rev in three sets score and six seven six four six three mode hard. So yes, I think it'll be a really, you know, pretty tough match, but I do think my rev can come out on top. So yeah, guys, anyway, let's jump right into the elevation. So my rev is a base now, he has a good stroke, he rallies well, he has flat strokes, he has good ground strokes, and he can play both offensively and defensively. Uh, Medvedev is currently number two in the world. He has 13 titles. He won the U.S. Open. He went to the Australian Open final, French Open quarterfinal, and Wimbledon fourth round. He also went to the Olympic quarterfinal. He won the ATP Tour finals, I believe, in um 2019. It was Bertini. He went to the Australian Open fourth round, won the U.S. quarterfinal. Uh, no, actually, I think. No, he won in 2020, I think, but anyway. Whereas Bertini, he won it in, uh, he won to the Osmond Open fourth round, won goes quarter final, Wimbledon final, and US Open semi finals. He has five titles, he has number, and he's number seven in the world. He's an aggressive ball quarter, he has a powerful serve, he has powerful grand strokes, he hits winners, he has a good net game. He plays serve and volley, he has good rough shots, and he hits a lot of unforced errors. That number is 2 0 Medvedev on on and on harder, it's 2 0 Medvedev. In ATP Cup, it's 1 0 Medvedev. And yeah, they played in the 2021 ATP Cup in which Medvedev won its great sets. But I think in the first set, you know, they're both going to be hitting aggressive. You know, Medvedev, he's going to, you know, hit one of the aces, make Berrettini move around. Whereas Berrettini, you know, he's going to go even more powerful. He's going to hit also hit winners and hit aces. And, you know, he's going to be making Bert, uh, Medvedev move around a lot also. And I eventually, I think it'll go to the tabric. But in the tabric, I just think Bertini is going to be the one that's just more explosive, you know. He's just going to be the one that has it slightly more production than Medvedev. And Bertini's tactic is to move Medvedev as close as possible, basically. So he's just going to try to hit some drop shots, you know. He's going to, he has a better, he has a slightly better serve than Medvedev. So he's going to take that to his advantage. And, you know, I just think it'll go really powerful. And eventually, Bertini will win the first set. But I think... After the first set, what's going to happen is I think Berrettini is going to run out of fuel. You know, I think I think that's going to be the problem. I think Medvedev will, like, outlast him in terms of stamina. So, in the second set, Medvedev, you know, he's going to... He, this time, he's going to, like, go really aggressive. You know, he's going to hit one of the cities, just make Berrettini move around. Whereas Berrettini, like, he won't have that much fuel, so it's going to be tougher for, for him to return Medvedev's balls. And also, like, in the first set, like, he's probably not going to go aggressive because when he when he does go aggressive, it's probably going to result in a few unforced errors and double faults that can happen to him frequently. So he has, you know, either a hit or miss strategy. You know what I mean? So it's not, like, in the middle. Like, it's either a hit or miss. So I think he's going to be missing in the second set. And Medvedev, you know, he's just going to keep taking advantage, you know, hitting winners, hitting aces, just keep making Ber Berrettini move around, you know. And eventually, I think Bertini will get tired. So then he's probably just going to hit a few easy balls and Medvedev can just smack it for a winner. And eventually, Medvedev will win the second set. I mean, the second set is not going to be too bad either because I still think Bertini he can still hit a few winners and aces. That's why I said 6-4. It's not going to be horrible, but it's also not going to be great. Whereas in the third set, you know, Medvedev is going to be containing the same thing. He's still going to hit winners and aces, but... The production will decline slightly because, you know, the farther the match progresses, the less... And less stamina you'll have. But for the most part, it's just going to, you know, rely on just, like, keep making Bertini move around, move around, just rally with him a lot. And whenever he finds a really good opportunity to hit a winner, he'll hit the winner. And he's just going to, you know, keep his serve consistent. Whereas Bertini, you know, like I said, I think he's just going to get really tired from moving around. And even, I'm just saying, like, yeah, like, even if Bertini somehow manages to, you know, get his stamina back and, you know, just start banging winners home. Um, Like, not only hitting winners, but he, he, if he manages to, you know, still go aggressive, it still won't be a very big problem for Medvedev because he can just, you know, play defense, which has helped him a lot. Because, like, he's, he's won some ra defensive rallies that, you know, are very tough to win. 
So, like I said, even if Bear King tries to go aggressive, Medvedev can still try to stop him with his defense. And eventually, like I said, Medvedev, he's just going to keep making a move around. Bear King will get tired, hit a few double falls, hit, you know, unforced airs, and eventually Medvedev will come out on top. So, just for a quick recap, in the first set, they're both going to be hitting aggressive. They're both going to be hitting owners, hitting aces, making each other move around. But I think Bertini, he's just going to be the one out of slightly more production. And he's the guy that's going to be more explosive. And I think he will control his unforced errors and double faults really well. And I think Bertini will win the first set. Whereas in the second and third set, Medvedev, you know, he's just going to hit winners and hit aces. Just try to make Bertini move around a lot, you know, rallying with him a lot. Whereas Bertini, you know, I, I think he'll hit hard for errors and double falls because I think that the rallies are going to be so long that eventually, like, Bertini, you know, he won't even have patience and he's just going to try to go for a winner, which I think will result in unforced errors. So either into the net or either just, you know, out of the, you know, just out. So, yeah, I, I just think, like, Medvedev will just keep prolonging and prolonging it until Bertini just loses patience and just, you know, hits like crazy. And yeah, eventually Medvedev will come out on top. So yeah, guys, this is the prediction. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys like, subscribed, and turn on those notifications. And by the way, I just want to say it'll still be a really good match. You guys should watch it. So like, I I know in the second and first set, Bertini might run out of fuel. But I still think it'll be a, a hard match. Because like, it'll just be like really good three sets and all, all that. So... I suggest you guys to watch this match, and like I said, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.